and hopefully that woke you up. Woke us up. Good Wednesday morning. Speaking of travel, today's November 24th, otherwise known as the busiest travel day of the year, and I am Todd Pyro. And I'm Stella Inger. All right, now I think our, we're not going to be able to go live to LAX, are we? Yeah. We're going to take a, just a basic look at this point because obviously the live shot switched. Yeah, and also it looks like there are no delays right now. I've been looking online, so there are no delays right now, but things may change as more mm -hmm. people head out for their travels. Most of us will hop in our cars today to get to grandma's house, mom's house, but one and a half million more will take to the skies. That means a lot of crowds and a lot of delays at the airport. Well, if you're getting ready to leave for the airport or if you're heading out for, the, for work, bundle up because it is chilly outside. Trust me, I was out there. It is very, very cold. Here is forecaster Carlene Chavis with your first look outside. Well, you are taking a live look at the Interstate 10 freeway off of Cook Street. It is the day before Thanksgiving, the busiest travel day of the year, and it looks like things are moving, moving okay right now. No traffic here. Why does Grandpa always get the short end of the stick on this one? It's like Valley folks heading to Grandma's. What about Grandpa? <laughs> Why do you forget about Grandpa this holiday season? What about Mom and Dad, yeah. right? Seriously. Like me. Time now is 6.57. Let's get you caught up on the top headlines. You might run into a person holding a sign today that says, The car is going to just spin out of control. There he goes. And just a few seconds from now, he's going to start driving faster, faster, faster. And that's when he hits uh, the fire hydrant. He was the only one in that car. So there it goes. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Now he's going to hit it. And that's when... Yeah, that's when police are going to arrest him then, and we watch this unfold all live. Look right, at that. Right there. There's where he shears off the fire hydrant, and that's where it all ends. Now we're going to go live to see what... Are we going to go live? No, we're not going to go live. All right. Well, the days of cheap holiday plane tickets may be over for now. More people are flying, but fewer seats are available, and that's giving airlines little incentive to cut prices. According to Travelocity.com, domestic airfares are 5% higher this holiday season. Thank you, Carlene. All right, everyone, we're doing something different today. Wake up. It's time for your wellness wake-up call featuring our fitness expert, Scott Cole. And today we're talking about one of my favorite things, Scott, yoga. Yay! I love yoga. I You're you going to be so proud of me. Oh, yeah. I took oh. a yoga class yesterday because I stopped for a little bit for a couple of months. Right. I went back yesterday. And look how joyful and free and wonderful you, you look today. Really, feel. I, I feel great. The royal wedding will be held at Westminster Abbey. I know I'm excited. Are you really excited? It's just it, it will be nice to see because it's our generation of the, okay. you know the royal wedding, and I haven't seen it. All right. Haven't seen a wedding like this. My generation. Understood. Prince William and Kate Middleton will get married on April 29th at the historic London Church, where Princess Diana's funeral was held. The couple apparently chose that date because they wanted a spring wedding. It's also the feast day of St. Catherine of Siena. And of course, that is Kate Middleton's name. She actually recently said she now wants to go by Catherine. Ooh. But it's weird because we keep saying Kate right, Middleton. Right. <laughs> the palace said the royal family and the Middletons will split the cost of the wedding. Really? Kate, help us out. It's harder to say Catherine if we're going to be saying your name a lot. That's why we called her Princess Di, because Di was easier than Diana. No, I was saying really to the palace and saying that the royal family and the Middletons are splitting the cost. Well, yeah, that's shocking. I, I mean, you think you marry a royal, hey, that would be one of the benefits of it. I don't have to pay for it. Nope, you're on the hook for half. Maybe they just want to feel like they're participating All right. somehow. Carlene, thank you. Well, there are signs that the worst may be over for the restaurant industry, which took a beating in the recession. A national report suggests many of us are starting to eat out again, and many more companies are opening up new restaurants. After three years of negative numbers, new restaurants are popping up in the valley, like Panera and that one right there, Sense Restaurant in Palm Desert. Signs that perhaps the economy is on the upswing. If you're heading east this Thanksgiving, whether you're driving or flying, you will see a big mess. A blizzard warning is in effect in the northwest and the midwest. Rare tornadoes have destroyed homes already. Andy Rose shows us this unusual November weather. And you've got to see this. The snowy weather caused a 747 plane, that one right there, to skid down the runway at SeaTac Airport in Seattle. The cargo plane slid about 100 feet too far. No one was hurt, but the jet had to be towed back across the line before it could taxi back to the gate. You might live in one of the most dangerous cities in America. Three nearby towns, including One Valley City, are on the list. It's put out by CQ Press. Topping that list was St. Louis, Missouri. As for our area, San Bernardino ranked 34th. 
Indio came in at number 177. By the way, the list is out of 400. Also making the list, Riverside coming in at number 191. CQ Press releases the list each year. They base it on violent crime statistics and only rank cities that have at least 75,000 people. We now know the name of three men killed in this plane crash near Newport Beach. The single-engine plane was found upside down in the harbor.